Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Shadra here from Extro Ads. Today's video is going to be a very quick one and it's a question I got from a friend of mine on Instagram who wants to know how to open a newer version of Premiere Pro project in a older version of Premiere Pro. Let's say for example, you currently use a 2019 or a 2020 or even a 2021 Premiere Pro and you want to open a project which was initially worked on on a newer version of Premiere Pro like the 2023 or the 2022 Premiere Pro. When you try to do that, you are going to get this error message which can be very frustrating. Panic no more because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily open a newer version of Premiere Pro project in your older version of Premiere Pro without any form of hassle. With that being said, let's jump straight to the editing suite so I can show you guys. As you can see, I'm currently working on this project in Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. I'm going to save it now and open it in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, like so. Whoa, you see that? So this is the error message you're going to get, which says this project was saved in a newer version of Adobe Premiere Pro and cannot be opened in this version. Okay, don't panic. Click OK and just close Premiere Pro 2020, the older version which you have. Now you need two tools to be able to do this efficiently. One is 7-Zip. 7-Zip is a free and open source archiver and yeah, 7-Zip. Okay, just go straight to the website and make sure you are downloading the latest version of 7-Zip. If you use Windows, make sure you are downloading that for Windows. And if you use Mac OS, make sure you are downloading the latest version for Mac OS. I have it installed already, so I'm not going to do that anymore. And the second tool you need to run this efficiently is notepad plus plus okay notes pad plus plus like so search for it go straight to the website and make sure you are also downloading the latest version of notepad plus plus they are all free so <laughs> that's a plus for you okay so now once you have both of them downloaded and installed the next thing you want to do is to go to the folder where you have your project saved now the next thing you want to do is to right click and extract the Premiere Pro project like so. And um, I'm just going to extract it using 7-zip, extract to like so. So you are going to have this folder, open it up and um, you are going to see this file like this. Just right click and edit with notepad plus plus. Once that open up, just go straight to the fourth line where you see object ID, class ID, and um, version. So we are, this is what we need to just edit. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 is version 41. So logically, all you need to do is to just reduce the number to the year you are currently using. So, okay, let's say you currently use... Adobe Premiere Pro 2022, you just change the 41, you just switch the number to 41. And if you use 2021, it's 39. If you use 2020, it's 38. And if you use Adobe Premiere Pro 2019, change it to 37. So it's as simple as that. Because I need to open this in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022, I'm just going to change it from 41 to 40, just like so and that's all i need to do okay just click save save it up and just close this we don't need it anymore thank you thanks for your service <laughs> okay so the next thing we want to do now is to right click on this and um show more so we go back to 7-zip like so and add to archive just like so okay so this is going to open up and you want to make sure the archive format is gzip and not 7-zip. By default, it's going to be on 7-zip. Just change it to gzip like so. The next thing we want to do is to change this gzip extension to Premiere Pro's extension, which is PRP. 
R O J, like so. If you are not sure of that, just go to the original Premiere Pro project, and as you can see, we have PRP R O J. So you can just edit and copy that out like so and um, paste it right here okay so that's all you need to do to be able to make this work click ok and as you can see so automatically it's going to create a premiere pro project for you like so so let me just open this up in my adobe premiere pro 2022 and see what's going to happen voila you see as simple as that as you can see it's already opened in adobe premiere pro 2022 I still have my Premiere Pro 2023 open, same project as you can see. So that is how you can easily open a newer version of Premiere Pro project in your older version of Premiere Pro. You can see how easy that is. If you find this video helpful and interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section if you've got any question or any challenges in the course of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and you know, you can always, I mean, anytime, send me a DM and I'll be glad to assist. I'll see you guys in my next video. Grazed.